Pile integrity testing can be completed in just four simple steps. The first step is to unbox what you need. To complete your pile integrity test, you'll need to bring petroleum jelly as well as a putty knife with you. From the case provided, you will find a tablet, the iPile sensor, and a hammer. Once that's done, you can start prepping your pile for testing. You can start by clearing the area with a brush to remove all loose concrete, soil, or any other foreign materials. You might also want to use an electric grinder to sand the area where you're going to be placing eye pile. Once the pile area is prepped, you can apply a thin layer of petroleum jelly to make a firm connection between the sensor and the pile head. Once that's on, place eye pile in the middle of the pile and ensure that eye pile is vertical. The third step is testing the pile. To start, turn on the device by pressing the button on the top. You'll then want to open up the app on your tablet and click on projects in the home page. Now you'll want to select the project you want to test in as well as the pile that you'll be testing before navigating to the data collection page. Once you're in the data collection page, click connect and select iPile from the pop-up menu. Once you've connected iPile, you can start collecting results by hitting the pile with a hammer. You will be able to see the impacts inside of the app. Strike the pile as many times as needed. The last step is to analyze your results. In the project folder, select the project and pile you want to perform analysis on. Swipe from left to right on the screen until the analysis tab appears. Tap on analyze. The analysis page has three main components. The main chart area shows the average of the collected signals and the main control panel at the bottom of the screen. From the control panel, you can apply low pass filters to reduce the noise and apply the amplification function. To do so, you use the plus and minus keys to change the values for these settings. Once the amplification function is applied, a secondary chart will appear on the screen. This is to show the depth at which the amplification is applied and the magnitude of the amplification. Another thing you can do is adjust the wave speed for the pile. Simply click the plus and minus signs. When you are done with the analysis, you can click on save to store it. Once you click analyze, it will generate a report. When you're done with your analysis, click on the projects tab in the top left corner to go to the project management page. To create a report with each individual pile, swipe from left to right and select Report from the list. This will show you the test results as a PDF file. If you want to export your report, just click on the export icon. From here, you'll be able to email, print, or send your file to anyone in your network. Learn more at fprimec.com slash ipile.